Hello friends, welcome to the blog. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had wonderful, wonderful celebrations, wonderful, responsible celebrations. Hope the next morning wasn't too awful for you. So I started this blog towards the end of last semester, possibly as a way to procrastinate on my exams, studying, don't tell anybody. Um, but I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying uh, telling you about my life, um, all of you, my massive hordes of followers and fans and friends. But now I'm starting to think about what I want this vlog to end up being, and a lot of that kind of has to do with the name of the blog, Daniel Pauperimus. Um, it comes from Latin, um, a superlative form of the adjective, um, pauper, which means poor. It means that I'm very, very poor. Um, there are two main reasons for that. One is that I'm a grad student, um, as I've mentioned in a previous blog. Um, I'm getting my PhD, or working towards it, and again, I'm only in my uh, first, second semester of it. And I'm sure that once we're back into the swing of the semester, if we don't start up again for another few weeks, um, I'm sure that a, a bunch of my blogs are going to focus on that part of my life. The second thing is that I am a ballroom dancer. And of course I had to go and choose the one hobby that would end up depleting my bank account more quickly than I ever thought it could. All the costs add up very, very quickly. Um, you have floor fees for practicing, you have costumes that you need to buy, you have registration fees for competitions, you have lesson fees for your coaches, things like that. The reason why I got into it in the first place is horribly superficial. Um, I was trying to impress somebody. Um, but the reason why I stuck with it for so long, I've been at it for three years um, plus by this point, um, is that I love it. I love music. I love movement. I love putting the two together. And this is one of the first sports that I've ever tried out that I've actually been told that I'm kind of good at, um, that I have potential for. And I think it's just beautiful. Ballroom dance is beautiful. You have two people working together as a team to create these wonderful lines and shapes and movement and dy dynamism. Um, and as you work your way up through the syllabus ranks, you get more and more complicated choreography and all this other fun stuff that you can do. Which leads me to the point of this particular blog, um, is that I'm very, very excited that our coach is having a start uh, on something that I've been looking forward to since I was a newcomer, uh, something called a standing spin that looks something kind of like this. Now, of course, for all intents and purposes, my partner and I are babies when it comes to the world of ballroom dance. Um, we're just breaking into um, what are called the open ranks, where we get to compete against the best of the best in the amateur um, league, but again, very, very new. We're still learning the mechanics of the standing spin in addition to working on our basics, which is where our main focus should be. This is the first shape that we've ever uh, really attempted. Um, there are others, of course. Sometimes you're vertical. Sometimes you're horizontal. Sometimes you're both at the same time. Sometimes you go backward. Sometimes you let it go and see how long you can hold on. The pros are definitely something to aspire to. Thank God for YouTube. But yeah, uh, one of my 2013 New Year's resolutions, get better at leading the standing spin. We have a big competition coming up in a few weeks called the Manhattan Amateur Classic, um, run by the Greater New York Chapter of USA Dance. Um, my partner and I are going to be co-volunteer coordinators in addition to competing, um, both with um, each other and also with um, other partners as well. We're very excited. It's going to take up an entire weekend. It's going to be a very long weekend, but a very satisfying one, hopefully. Um, and I hope to do another blog there, um, show some of the behind the scenes happenings um, at the Manhattan Amateur Classic, or MAC as we affectionately call it. Until then, we'll keep hitting the studio, we'll keep working on our technique, working on our basics, hopefully working on the standing spin. We'll see if we may, uh, could possibly use it at MAC. Probably not, but never say never. Justin Bieber. Yeah. And thanks for watching! All the links to the videos um, can be found in the description below, and I will also be putting a little splash page at the end as well, uh, with direct links. So feel free to click over, see the pros doing what they do best. All my social media down in the links below, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, so on and so forth. 
And until the next vlog, bye.